today we're going to be talking about pain chronic pain emotional pain occasional pain joint pain and my favorite of course digestive pain because do you know um, that a lot of pain especially joint pain and occasional pain can stem from a challenge in your gut did you know that now I'm sure that Lydia um, can teach you all about the inflammatory foods that could cause joint pain so I'm sure maybe we'll team up and do one together anyway there's an idea for Lydia if you're gonna watch on the replay then there's an idea for you right let's get started uh, okay so can you give can you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being really low 10 being totally high off the Richter scale how would you rate your chronic pain at the moment is chronic pain a part of your daily life let me tell you a story I always got a story so I I seem to be quite prone to major injuries I maybe I'm living life on the edge and pushing 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 uh, so I like adventure and uh, I have experienced some really serious chronic injuries in my life I was hit by a car when I was 14 unfortunately right outside my garage I walked out from behind the school bus out at Foster Keys there in King George Parade I walked out from behind the school bus uh, I wasn't even meant to be on the bus that day I got off one bus because I went to school in Tare I got off one bus and I walked up to the surf club and I was doing my bronze medallion uh, and I got off the bus and I'd seen one of the other guys and that comes down saying on oh, no, a bronze medallion training has been cancelled today so I quickly raced back on and got back on the bus and then met the other little bus out at what was the freezer queen where McDonald's is now and and I jumped on the little mini bus that took us out to Foster Keys and I was in a complete daydream and I got off that bus and it was drizzling rain it was slightly cold and it was um, it was about this time of the year and I was in a complete daydream now my twin brother was one step behind me and my dad was standing outside our garage and the bus stopped outside the garage and I ran out from behind the bus and I got hit by a car and I went flying through the air and I landed nearly in the next-door neighbors box trailer now as I was lying on the road dr. Allen came out and diagnosed me because of course back then in you know in the 80s early 80s uh, you know the nearest hospital is Tare and the ambulance had come from a long way away so Dr. Allen came out and diagnosed me with a very severely broken arm and a severely broken leg and possible head injuries and internal injuries and all sorts now in the ambulance I have no memory of this by the way no memory I do have minor flashbacks of lying on the cold road and uh, it raining and they were going to have to cut my uniform off me right and that was and that's the only memory I have of this anyway so 32 kilometers back then it was 32 kilometers and out nearly an hour in the ambulance um, around the old rainbow flat road my mum with me in the ambulance praying all the way and luckily when I was when I well when I arrived in the, in the hospital I was given last rites the, the the nun from St Clair's was there the priest was there they they anointed me you know they blessed me anyway I went into x-ray and I had a um, a severely broken thumb uh, and a um, a fractured skull that little cheekbone there so I know quite a bit about um, living with chronic pain because you know things I, I spent a lot of time having to go to Cairo and osteo because I've been shunted that way by the my head hit the windscreen right there right so then fast forward fast forward um, another uh, to uh, another decade and a half I was snowboarding in Austria living in Austria for two winters and snowboarding and I caught and it was a really icy cold day like minus 19 degrees and I caught and I was snowboarding and I caught my back edge on some black ice and I went flying through the air and I landed on my head and I broke my neck so I did I fractured my third and fifth vertebrae so I know quite a lot about chronic pain because of injury 
and I think if anyone has reached the age of 50 or beyond and you have not experienced some sort of accident or injury you're doing very very well because you know we all have some sort of thing that's happened whether we've been in car accidents or whether we've had surfing accidents or you know in January I had we were coming out of Salido and I had this surfboard land land from the top of the bus that landed straight on my head and another compression injury to the back of my neck so I tend to be I tend to attract um, pretty serious accidents so I know a lot about chronic pain so yes back to your question on a scale of 1 to 10 how is your do you suffer chronic pain now on a scale of 1 to 10 how is your emotional pain it's a really stressful time right now and I understand that and look I had kids late in life so um, emotional pain can look like stress and overwhelm and feeling low there can be a real heaviness to your life so would you what sort of number would you give yourself for that for emotional pain and stress okay give yourself a number for occasional pain is this something that you you know you have good days you have bad days you've got bad knees you've got bad hands you've got bad uh, you know neck shoulder pain or is it um, skeletal pain now how would you rate yourself on digestive pain do you have mild discomfort heartburn acid reflux or do you have lower gut pain lower abdomen pain or do you have regular hormone pain Cass, your pain's quite, oh, stress is quite low today. Good. I'm hoping that stress in Foster would be quite low. So it's such a beautiful place and things are opening up. But skeletal pain, yes, we know a lot about skeletal pain. And skeletal pain can be something that we need to manage on a regular basis. And of course, motion is lotion. That's what we always say, motion is lotion. So that gentle rejuvenating yin classes, not going too full on in the vinyasa flow, honoring your body with gentle cat cow instead of going through the tenth vinyasa flow okay so what I'm going to tell you about today is a few different protocols that I've used over the years to help me manage digestive pain emotional pain joint pain and chronic pain now the other thing I did have um, a year ago no it's been two years now two years ago I had my right bun right foot bunion done Wow, talk about pain. Whew. Right, so that took a long time to repair and rebuild. So I want to share with you some of the protocols that I've used, that are proven, that have worked for me, and I've also shared with other clients and that work very, very well for them. Um, so let's talk about, um, firstly, chronic pain. When you struggle with chronic pain, you really need to support your bones with adequate calcium magnesium zinc and vitamin D so everything as a nutritionist I look at eating right first eating right as the foundation and Lydia has a huge amount of wealth of information about that there and look if you want to know more information please reach out to us when you have chronic skeletal pain you also need to support your body with um, very good uh, weight management so you don't want to be overweight because that will be weight you know load bearing on your knees your ankles um, your hips and you will really struggle if you have chronic pain and you're overweight you know the two will exacerbate each other and especially if you're um, you know you're eating inflammatory foods then that is going to make your joint pain worse and also very very closely linked to digestive pain so if you're struggling with digestive pain you're not digesting well you are um, creating excess inflammation in the joints and in the body and that will also make joint pain much worse uh, now also resting and managing stress is so vital if you struggle with skeletal pain you know that you cannot push on you know that like with my neck if my neck gets sore i know that i haven't been either eating right exercising right looking after myself really being you know the custodian of that important self-care so you know doing my tai chi doing my yoga doing my affirmations using my oils eating well making sure that i'm staying adequately hydrated 
all of those will impact my neck pain. So I know that if my neck pain is bad, something's out of whack. Now I have a standing desk at work, that really helps me. I don't sit down a lot because I know that sitting down crunching the base of my spine then has a profound effect further up the spine. I know that I feel really good if I do in the evening some restorative yoga or my Tai Chi poses again in the evening and I use my oils to support that movement. Um, and certainly reducing the toxic load. Now, if you aren't being exposed to toxins in the household and in your food chain, then those toxins are going to be stored in the joints. And if you're a person that suffers with tight joints, stiff joints and achy joints, then I really encourage you to look at ways that you can reduce your toxic load. Um, very, very important, you know, look at your food chain, make sure that you are eating foods that do not contain E numbers and chemicals. Make sure that your cleaning products are not containing nasty chemicals because we're being exposed to toxins a lot in our environment. The things that we can really have control over and power over are the food that we put into our body and our environmental toxins in our home, our cleaning products, our beauty products, all of those sorts of things. If they're nasty, full of toxins, that's going to build up in the joints and cause unnecessary occasional or it's going to exacerbate chronic pain. So, and then we talk about, you know, really proactive self-care. So supporting our body with um, things like yoga and essential oils of very, very profound effect. Okay, so one particular um, blend that I like for joint pain is called past tense. Now, let me read to you what this has in it. Wintergreen, amazing for chronic pain. Lavender, lavender flower for soothing and calming, also very good for emotional pain, calming anxiety, calming the household down, making sure you're getting adequate, adequate sleep. You know, the two are very closely linked, pain and sleep. If you're in pain, you're not sleeping well, and you know, you're tossing and turning, and then the next day you're gonna be feeling more irritable, and more in pain. So make sure you're supporting your body to get really good night's sleep. And you can do that through lavender is a fantastic way to do that. Peppermint, warming and cooling at the same time. Amazing for digestive pain, very closely linked to acute pain. Frankincense, the king of oils, the absolute amazing oil that gets into, do you remember my first lesson? Getting into the cell where we need it the most. We want oils to support the reduction of bacteria on the outside of the cell, but also prevent um, the duplication of viruses and inflammation on the inside of the cell. And frankincense is one of those ones that gets deep into the cell where it's needed the most to support the mitochondria, to support the inflammatory markers, to support the receptors, to make sure that the receptors are able to do what they are meant to do. The receptors on cell sites are like the key and the, the lock in the door that open the cell to greater energy, to greater um, permeability, to greater um, cell function. Cilantro, cilantro is again really warming. It also helps with inflammation. Marjoram, marjoram, I love marjoram. Marjoram is like my, my combination when I had my foot surgery. Marjoram, copaiba, frankincense, lemongrass. It is known in the doTERRA world as the morphine bomb. We're not really supposed to say that, but you get the picture. Because when you're having, you know, when, you ha when you've had surgery, right, and you're in that chronic pain period, those few days after surgery, oh my goodness, and they give you something like endone, oh my goodness, that is awful, that stuff. It really is. It upsets your digestion, that's for sure. Gives you constipation, oh my goodness. Makes you feel like a, I don't know, it, it just made me feel so weird. It made me feel nauseous, it made me feel completely out of it. And um, so I mixed up this, in, in a, uh, I mixed them up in these soft gels, right? So you can, you can get these from doTERRA. You can get them at GoVita. Um, they do sell them in a really big pack, they're quite expensive. You can get um, 160 capsules from doTERRA. And these are empty capsules, okay? They're just completely empty. And you open them up and you can put oil in there. So two drops of frankincense, two drops of marjoram, two drops of 
lavender, um, two drops of peppermint, uh, frankincense, I've already said, two drops of lemongrass. Wow. And that really does take the edge off severe chronic pain and using that internally. And you could do that, you know, every four hours if you needed to over a period of a few days. Okay, what else is in there? What else is in this one is um, rosemary. Very, very good also for the memory. Good for emotional pain, but very, very good for the chronic pain. Now, these are really handy, roller bottles. So with past tense, I've added a few extras on there. You can see, added a few extras on there. Um, with these roller bottles, you can, get, you can get these empty ones from Go Vita, but you get these, they're called the Touch Blends from doTERRA, and they're these little roller bottles. And they're very, very good for safe usage because they're already diluted. So in here we have fractionated coconut oil, and that is really good for even my nine-year-old son who had a bit of um, growing pains yesterday, just he can grab that and he can rub that on his legs and on his muscles and only one leg was sore but very very good just to rub on the back of the neck down the spine or on the knee joints wherever you've got that chronic pain going on now this goes this works very very well with copaiba copaiba acts like cbd oil and what the magic of this oil is it latches on to the cb T receptor sites in the cells. Now, this has an effect on the central nervous system and it also has an effect on nerve endings. Amazing for people that have suffered joint pain, arthritic pain, chronic pain. There seems to be a magic combination between frankincense and copaiba when you're using these together, get into the cell where they're needed the most. This acts like the key to the door latches onto the receptor sites in the cells and helps calm down inflammation. Very, very good for any chronic or any joint pain. It's amazing. Um, this is a, a product from the Amazon. And in these bottles, you've got 250 drops. So this is, you know, a little bit goes a long, long way. One or two drops mixed with frankincense, you've got a lot of applications there. So look, if you're the type of person who's heavily, heavily reliant on paracetamol, ibuprofen, or even heavier drugs like the endones, firstly, they are addictive, especially the endones or any opioid-based medications are addictive. They come with unwanted side effects. They affect your digestive system. They will make you feel sluggish. They will make your digestion feel sluggish and they will make you feel constipated. They are often over prescribed. I do know people that you can, um, you know, that do go from doctor to doctor and get their weak supply of these drugs. They are very dangerous when taken in large doses. Now, the other thing with over-the-counter medications and prescription pain medications is that even though they're considered safe, they actually cause more deaths every year than car accidents, all right? They give you this false sense of euphoria, which is temporary but can quickly lead to addiction. Now, the beauty about essential oils is that they're safe, they're effective, they're not addictive, all right? They don't have, they don't leave you with those feelings of, withdrawal symptoms you don't get leg spasms and vomiting and diarrhea and cold spasms when you come off these drugs they're definitely over prescribed and they definitely have an impact on the digestive system all right now if you have been in a situation where you've had surgery recently please be aware that they administer iv antibiotics to you during surgery, it is part of the course. You will always, if you are going under general anaesthetic, you will always be given a course of IV antibiotics during your surgery. Look, it's life-saving. It's going to stop you getting a staph infection, but be aware that you've got an impact on your digestion and you need to rebuild your gut health as a result. So good probiotics after surgery, very, very important. And also, if you're relying on prescription medications over a long period of time, you will need to repair your digestion, your digestive health afterwards because it will have an impact on the digestion, on the small intestine walls and that 
balance, that fine balance in the, in the, in the microbiome of the gut, which Lydia always talks about, which is so important. Look, if you are a person that is having to wean off medications and you're looking for natural alternatives, then please make sure you are drinking lots and lots of water. I'm talking about four litres of water a day to flush those meds out of your system. Lemon essential oil or grapefruit essential oil is very good for flushing out toxins from the system. So just having one drop in your water is a great way to do that. Now, replacing your habit or quitting over-the-counter or um, prescription meds can be very 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 hard but creating a new habit in your body by supporting your body with essential oils is a great way lemon in your water great way turning to yoga as motion and lotion for your joints is a great way making sure you're keeping your joints moving very very important even doing like you know using the essential oils on your hands Breathing it in before your yoga practice is a great way to support your emotional pain. All right. Remember I said in the first class, we're accessing the olfactory nerve. It's linked, linked to the limbic system and the limbic system is the part of the brain that governs how we feel. It's our emotions. It's where we, you know, we create our emotions. So shifting your emotions, if you're feeling really low all the time, shifting your emotions, using the oils to uplift you, any of the citrus oils particularly, like Elevation, Citrus Bliss, Citrus Bloom, Lemon, Grapefruit, Wild Orange, they're all like a smile in a bottle. So you can use those to support yourself emotionally. Right, now if you have muscle pain, like you've, over been, you've been overdoing it and you've got um, that um, after high intensity yoga workout burn in the bum like the glute muscles that I had the other day I you know oh, it was really it did feel good but I've been doing a lot of bike riding as well doTERRA has this amazing product called ice blue now this lasts me an entire year I only need the tiniest little bit and rubbing that on the muscles and it is so so good it's warming and cooling again it has that winter green rosemary marjoram combination in it frankincense combination in it and really good for pre and post workout so rubbing that on the legs on the on the glutes on the back can support your body excellent way to use before workout and then of course after yoga or after bike rider after walking or running or climbing or whatever you're doing then certainly use that it's a really good product okay let's talk about digestive pain uh have i got oh, someone's taken oh no there it is digestin all right so di digestin digestive pain rubbing this clockwise over the belly following the shape of the bowel can be very supportive if you've got that i've uh, eaten too much sort of full feeling but also if you struggle with heartburn or any sort of bloating, that can be very effective. Now, I really encourage you to combine that with a good probiotic and a good digestive enzyme. If you're feeling like you're suffering with um, digestive issues, then peppermint and digestin are very, very supportive. But also, you've got to look at your diet. What is causing this problem? What is the cause of the pain? Try and get to the root cause, and if you need help doing that, then speak to Lydia or myself, and we can help pinpoint what's going on in your diet and where you're going wrong because you it's, it's not normal to experience digestive pain it's your body either whispering to you or shouting at you that something is not quite right all right so have a think about what it is where are you going wrong if you are struggling with um, joint pain the um the deep blue look polyphenol complex this is a great product from doTERRA that has all the essential oils in it, but it also has turmeric in it and all those essential vitamins and minerals that can help reduce joint pain. Right, if you're a person who suffers head tension and migraines, this is worth trying. So the combination of, once again, frankincense and copaiba, very, very good, and uh, the past tense, also very, very good, all right? using those in a combination, rubbing it on the forehead, putting it in the diffuser, having frankincense and copaiba um, 
internally, one drop under the tongue or in a veggie cap can be very beneficial. All right, but also again, I would look at what is the root cause of your migraines, what is the root cause of your headaches. It could be hormone imbalance, it could be digestive issue, it could be a high level of toxicity, and we work together to work out what's going on in the diet, why are you getting these headaches, why are you getting the, the, the migraines. But certainly topically and aromatically, those oils will really help. Okay, I want to tell you a little bit of a story about eliminating foods that can cause pain and then I can take some questions and show you how to get the best price for your oils. I had a pain in my finger, right? That joint there. It was like I'd hit it with a hammer. I would never remembered doing so. It was one of these mystery pains. Have you got any mystery pains that you you just don't know why you've got them? You don't know where they came from. You don't know how they've happened. You Maybe you've been to the doctor and said, what's going on here? That was enough to cause me to go to the doctor and say, have I got arthritis? And she looked at my hands and went, well, it doesn't look like you've got any problem with any of your other fingers. Now, I it was hot, it was red, it was sore, it was inflamed, all right? When I did an elimination protocol, so I, I, and I do these quarterly and I guide my clients through these, taking out soy, nuts, I don't have a lot of wheat, I don't have a lot of dairy, I do have a lot of soy, my soy lattes, my soy, my soy smoothies, whatever, right? I do have a lot of nuts. I was doing nut milks, almond milks, nut butters, my bliss balls, my, you know, all this amazing raw food, which is very nut heavy, okay? And I was going through quite a bit of stress at the time, working festivals and living in two countries. Right, so on day three of the elimination protocol, taking up particularly soy and nuts, with the big ones, inflammatory foods, after having that for one year, it went away. On day three, now this was a 60 day elimination, but on day three, that went away and it's never come back. Now, that is digestive pain. And you might be thinking, hang on a minute, that's not my stomach. But when there's inflammation in the body, the body will do whatever it can to take that inflammation away from the vital organs. Now you cannot get any further away from my vital organs than that little finger joint. You can't literally get any further away on my body. All right, so if you have big toe issues, little toe issues, finger issues, and finger pain and joint pain, I really encourage you to think about doing an elimination protocol. All right, um, what, else, what else have I got to show you here? I think, oh, right, okay, so back to my car accident, being hit by a car when I was 14. I think that this here was the first part of my body to hit the road and I've been doing myofascial release and facial release and that sort of thing but there's every now and then there is a bit of a residual pain in here and I have found a really unique combination so with the oils everybody is different and like with food we react to food differently we react to oils differently we're going to react to medication differently it is worthwhile persevering till you find the magic combination for you that works for you. This has happened to me a couple of different times. Most of the time, past tense works really well on my neck, and sometimes it just doesn't. Once I've added peace, which is the emotional support blend to my neck, and that pain has disappeared. With this pain, Past tense doesn't seem to work on it, but I found this magic combination between spikenard and myrrh, right? These are ancient, 5,000 year old remedies for pain. Spikenard and myrrh, I read about this. Now, if this comes up and I find that it's doing lots of downward dogs and that sort of thing, that sort of flares up. Spikenard and myrrh, one drop on there, and that is good for four days. So it's worth persevering with a few different combinations of oils and finding what works for you, okay? Don't give up on the first oil and think, oh, this is rubbish, it doesn't work, all right? Persevere and find the right combination for you. Now, 
Emotional pain. Look at this beautiful kit. This is the emotional aromatherapy kit. This is an enrollment kit, all right? So you get this kit, you get an enrollment, and you get the support from me, and you get a free wellness consultation with me. But look at this kit. It's beautiful. And it covers, it's got all these beautiful oils, and it covers something for motivation, so if you're feeling really low. Cheer, if you're feeling really low and depressed, this is really good. Passion, if you feel like you just need that extra bit of sparkle in your life. Forgive and console the oils of grief and forgiving yourself. Peace, this one works so well on my neck. So over the years, I've made some pretty poor choices in my life, right? And in in my recent years, my my journey to heal myself over the last 20 years from asthma and anaphylaxis and shingles and Ross River fever and poor choices with boyfriends and recreational drugs and that sort of thing. <clears throat> I have found that it's been really important to forgive myself and that oil forgive. I rub that on myself a lot of, you know, often during the day and I forgive myself for any choices that I've made in the past that I that I now judge myself for and I let them go. Because sometimes when we have skeletal pain and chronic pain, it can be our head's way of distracting us from what is really needs to be healed at a head level. The body is incredible. The body will distract, all right? When you are not dealing with something at an emotional level and a head level, your body can create mystery pain to distract you. Now, whenever I'm feeling fearful and worried, guess what happens? My neck hurts. So the more I unlock why I'm feeling fearful or why I'm feeling afraid or why I'm feeling worried, or why I'm beating myself up and why I'm struggling with self-esteem and that sort of thing, the less my neck hurts. Now, there is a brilliant book, and I will post a picture of it in the group. There's a brilliant book about this, that all back pain and all joint pain can be healed up here. It's an amazing book. Now, I want to talk to you very briefly. I've had a few people ask me how to get the oils. Um, and I want to show you how to get them at the best possible price. So when you get a kit, oh, who's the author? Well, good question, Cass. John E. Sarno. It's a great book. Life-changing. Really, really life-changing. That all pain really starts in the mind. And the body will create pain in order to, you to, in order to distract you from what is really going on. Nicole, thank you. I'll ch chat with you tomorrow. So what happens when you when you get a kit? So when you get an enrollment kit, you get the top 10 oils, right? And all those oils can be used for emotional support, for pain, for food, for flavoring food, for cleaning your house, for doing all those amazing things. Everything that I talk about, the top 10 oils are in the kit, all right? Now you can get a starter kit from $122 and up to... You know, you can get a business builder's kit and create a business out of the oils. It's amazing, all right? So depending on your budget, you can start at $122. The best kit is the Home Essentials kit. It comes with the diffuser, the one that you see in the studio, and the top 10 oils. And with that, you're getting, you're, you're saving, you're saving straight up, you're saving $180. Plus, you're getting an account which will allow you access to 25% off every month every oil plus then you get access to free oil so every single month with doTERRA there is a free oil and if you order on or before the 15th of the month you get the free oil which is a great way of trying out other oils all right but then also what you get is continued support you get access to training if you want to learn about aromatherapy if you want to learn about aroma touch technique the massage technique if you want to learn about how to run a business with essential oils you can learn about that all right, so, but with your membership kit, you get a wellness consult with me. All right, so you get a free wellness consultation and I become your support person. And then also you get access to free oils, but you also get access to a further 55% off. 
off your oils paid back to you in points. So you're getting free oils, which is free healthcare. I mean, who doesn't want free, free healthcare? Amazing. So look, if you haven't got started with your oils yet, reach out to me and we can schedule a call and we can work out what your health goals are and we can work out the best way to get you, get you started, whether it's a little kit or a big kit or free oils or whatever you would like. All right, so reach out to me, send me a personal message. Right, thanks guys, see you next week. Thanks for watching.